I delved to the bottom of this problem of being uh, popular. I'm evil. still trying That's to be popular. <laughs> I'm still trying. He says he doesn't even care. And I put these videos up on YouTube and I have a blog and I have a calendar on my blog and guess what? My count is probably the lowest of anybody's this blogging in my territory. Lowest! And I just can't seem to up it. You know, I've analyzed this. I said, well, what do they do that I don't do? Well, <laughs> Long Pets is back. Long Pet. He's so proud of himself for what? Gant. J M T used to be a very, very good name years uh, yeah, ago. Yeah. And did you ever worry? Did you ever try to analyze the reason you weren't popular? No. He didn't have to. Popularity just came to him. He got it too easy. That's how come you fell into. I fell into. Yeah, I'd like to know what I fell into. The steps, <laughs> wait, wait, wait the a minute. I got, of degradation. I fell into you, right? <laughs> and I, it's like trying to get Nobody would out of ever it. have suspected you'd become an alcoholic on Skid Row. I'm talking real Skid Row here. I mean, he was like years on Skid Row living on the streets, this promising, oh, and by the way, too, he had 160 IQ. In those days, you know, we'd why go around do, saying, Why do you have to keep Well, in those days, we bragged on our business IQ. Business that is none of anybody's business. Oh, I'm sorry, I even not. mentioned it to you. Of course not. Oh, no, he's only mentioned it to me, what? One or two or three hundred times, you know. I have a hundred and sixty IQ, That's right. which I'm at my very listen, best. I was not able to listen, get up I'm, any I'm further gonna take, than I'm going to take the sign down off my 30. door. Thirty. I'm going to take the sign down off my door. Okay. <laughs> it says hundred sixty IQ. If less, don't come in. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah right. See, I'm, I don't talk to anybody whose IQ is lower. That mine is just a waste, a waste of time. Have you known those people? Uh, we've all known those people <laughs> who just don't talk to. Well, anyway, uh, I just got uh, to do the wrong pants. But then, you know, it was my theory that maybe you know people with a little higher IQ. Now, not my, that my IQ is well, that much higher than anybody else's. You know, it's just, it's just a little above average, on. according to. I think they made what? a mistake. My IQ is only 130. It, they made a mistake. 130? I'm sure. Oprah's is 159. Did you oh, know that? My IQ, the best I can do. Why? Because I'm just an absolute bust in anything like mathematics. You know, I don't understand it. Uh, and I can't remember what I what, understood. What has your bust got to do with mathematics? <laughs> oh, my, not Don't my bust. I was say? a bust. Oh. Uh, and, you know, I could write, I could read, I could uh, devour books, but understand quantum There's another thing. Mechanics. You know, it's okay to read books, but when you start chewing on them, you know, Difficulty. then they call you a bookworm, because that's what bookworms do. They get in there and they start eating up the... Right, so I, you know, and I have met some nerds, I mean some real nerds. There was, I met a guy in college who said, my IQ is 200, 200, he claimed. He said it was the highest that had ever been taken in, in, in uh, Ohio at the time. And uh, he could understand everything, but oh my gosh, this poor guy, what he looked like. Oh, oh, he looked like a great big bear, and he had, you know, and that poor guy. Did he wear long pants? <laughs> oh, yeah, poor guy. He was. Did he wear underwear? Built like a big, you know, I mean, his IQ was all he had going for him. Did he wear shoes? <laughs> yes. I he did, did wear shoes, yes. But he had 200 IQ, 200. How about indoor plumbing? Do you know anything about indoor plumbing? And, and, and he just could Knives, forks, he, spoons, things like that. And he like was that. so disappointed in my IQ, I told him, I'm only 130. He said, oh. Well, I'm disappointed in your IQ, mistake. too. What do you think about that? I've always been disappointed. <laughs> Jeez. Mistake, a mistake. What am I supposed said, to do? Put a bear suit on and walk He said, in? you and I could have geniuses. Because he thought I was a genius because I, I had tolerance for him, but I wanted to find out what a guy with a 200 IQ had to say. 
And it was weird. It was really weird. I mean, uh, and, you know, I got kind of scared of him because he was like, I think his looks had pushed him over the edge. And it, his 200 was, IQ wasn't was, enough was it the to big, keep him Was it that big collar he had around his neck or anything <laughs> like that? With the spikes yeah, sticking well they, out uh, of it. Uh, well, they sort of, you know, I don't know about him. He was, uh, so, <sighs> IQs, you know, if you count on your IQ, uh, I, I would think, well, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't have high enough IQ. Like, there was a girl in, in high school who always beat me out because she could understand chemistry, just like that, and physics, and, you know, everything that was hard science was just a snap for her. So naturally she outdid me and she became the valedictorian. I couldn't even become valedictorian. Although I read more books than she did, she could understand the heart, you know, better. So high IQ, real high IQ, that was denied me too. That was denied me. Uh, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't whip that out and say, guess wait, what my IQ is. Wait a minute. If I walked up to some female and said, and she just, wouldn't whip out her IQ. No, if, if, I, if I said, hey, honey, you want to see my IQ? I'm going to whip it out. You know, oh, they, yeah, you they told think me be a little that bit your a third there. wife was... I graduated from college, Kuma. How do you even? I don't summa know. cum laude and summa cum magna. Oh yes. So uh, he'd the always, masters in he'd psychology. He'd always refer to her the as masters in psychology. The Kuma summa summa laude. Well, we know some. <laughs> we know some. <laughs> You know, there's and, a book. And, you know, she had oh, had a to Kama Sutra. We didn't do, we didn't do some Kama Sutra, too. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And, you know, this woman hadn't even looked for But this him. woman didn't have, you didn't need. I she mean, was good-looking. Oh. She was built like a cheerleader, a model. I don't know what else. was built and like a she, brick pagoda. And then she also had a high IQ. And she proved it by going to college and graduating. Well, it also and proved, I didn't even graduate. Also proved you wasn't that sharp when she married me. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, sure. Oh right, I'm sure she. Well, anyway, high IQs. Uh, they don't help you. How about a bib uh, overalls? Want me to get some bib overalls? That's always good. To be a farmer, bib I tried to and some turn him into a cowboy if he wore some cowboy shirt with these long pants. But he won't give up the sandals for boots. I've offered to buy him boots many times, but he he keeps screaming. No, you have. So you I offered. Have to. You offered one time, and I said, if you ever bring a <laughs> pair of boots in there, you know where that boot's gonna go. Oh yeah. He and is it might not be going right down to the hospital to, to, have, to have a phenolectomy performed on you. And anyway, you know, this you know, you seek after popularity. Like on my blog, I rush to my blog every day to see if anybody's read it. I don't know if they have or not. But there's no comments. I mean there might be one or two. They probably all feel sorry. For <laughs> no, they don't feel sorry for me anymore. They just ignore me. <laughs> well, that's why. Uh, and uh, another theory it I have is, why do you hang you, I'm old. Why do I'm you 77 years like, old. They don't think. Kidding. They think I'm on the skids for some reason. <laughs> You're old as a diatomaceous <laughs> earth. You know that? Yeah. I mean, the younger ones are tendency to just kind of ignore the older ones. I mean, they're my. Uh, Jeez, what gave you that a just clue? Might be, You're not going to um, make it on MTV, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I, I guess my, one of my theories is I'm too old to be popular. Real popular, that is. Oh, I mean, wait a minute. Hardly even days, popular at all. Park, Let's put park, park this car for a second because you've been telling me you know, ever since a little kid you haven't been popular. You no, haven't been popular your whole life. Now I know you expect popular, out of thin air, <laughs> 77 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Listen, there's only a few people that have done this. And believe me, <laughs> you don't look like Grandma Moses, but you're up in that category. Yeah, right? well, Grandma Moses was popular. <laughs> She's one of the most popular old ladies that I 